Columbia, Missouri, about to go defend my research. It's a big day for me. This is the second to last episode of Shark at Grad School. It's crazy. I feel like I just started, but now it's almost over. So my defense is in a few minutes. And I'm ready. I'm nervous. I'm ready all at the same time. But I can't bring my camera inside the room. But I'm going to do my best to recap and give you line by line once I finish. I just thank y'all for riding with me, for listening to these stories, and for understanding that through my story, grad school is possible for you. So stay tuned. It's about to be over. Okay, I just did it. It is done. I got approved. Can you believe that? Like, it's crazy. Like, I can't even put into words how I feel right now. I just walked out the room. I passed. They told me they were proud of me. And they see my growth. Like, y'all, this is just unreal. Like, this feeling in my heart right now. Ooh, I just thank you, Lord. Thank you for getting me here today. Thank you, Lord. That's all, that's all I can say is just thank you. Because there were really times during this process where I felt like it wasn't going to happen. That I was less trusting of God and what he was already doing for me. And I worried and panicked and just hearing me talk about this today at the final stage of it. I just. I don't even know what to say, like, and to hear my committee praise me for the work that I did and to give me feedback that's not even really feedback. Wow, like, just wow. Mm. Like, I did this for you, Toby, like, like, this is for you, for nobody else, because. You didn't get this view. You didn't get this showcase of who you are to the world. And to know that I had a part in doing this for you. Because I love you so much. I love you so much. And this is just my small portion. My small piece of making it better for you and boys like you. Like, this is nobody but God. He wouldn't have gave me this mission. He wouldn't have put it on my heart for me to do if it wasn't important, not just for Tobias, but for a lot of people, a lot of black and brown people who just get a headline, who just get a one-liner about what happens in them. So, man, Toby, like, who would have thought you would have did all of this? I know you're proud of me. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, because there was times I didn't think I was going to get to this day. <laughs> but God always makes a way. Even when we feel like we can't do it, He's already handled it for us. And we just have to thank Him early. Because he already knew who was going to get me to this day. He already knew how they were going to respond. He already blessed my travels to get here. He already handled it all. And so it's just up to us to just do our part. To make sure that we are listening. And we are obeying everything that he says. Because if I didn't listen to the Lord about this project. If I didn't listen to the Lord first of all about going to master's. Getting my master's and going to grad school. Like if I didn't listen. I wouldn't have this impact and I wouldn't have this feeling of just uh, like that's how I feel right now and to know that with this degree I'll be the first person in my family with a master's degree like what does that even mean like that's huge to know that I'm setting up not only myself but I'm setting up my family I'm setting up another level of success and 
something that we can be proud of and add to our legacy. Like, I'm doing it for everybody that who couldn't be here. Like, I couldn't be here in the physical sense, couldn't do this in the physical sense. Like, I'm doing it for everybody. And to know that God has already figured it out for me beyond this point. Like, after this, tomorrow, next month, when I, when I graduate, like, he's already figured it out. My career is already written. And I just thank you for sticking with me on this journey. I thank you to my family and my friends who constantly uplift me, pray for me, work with me to make my dreams come true. And I pray that I'm doing the same things to help you reach whatever you want to have in this life. And again, that was just my goal from the beginning to let you see that it's possible with grad school as an example, but with everything. Like, I want my life to be a showcase of what God can do. And this right here, this is all God. And I'm just so grateful. Okay, it's done, y'all. I got my master's degree. And I just feel so happy, so relieved. All of that, all those emotions all at one time. I'm just very excited to see what the future holds for me. This was a milestone that I set out to do and it's done so i'm very proud of myself and everybody who had a hand in making this possible for me and i'm just so full right now i bought this hoodie a few weeks ago and this is my first time wearing it and it's so fitting because it says my ancestors will be proud and i know they will be very proud of me because i'm proud of me and i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them so just so grateful so happy just Thank you. Thank you for sticking with me for a whole year. Grad school is possible because I did it, and you can too.